Deep, what's up? It's Jacob. Welcome to 911%. Welcome to a beautiful Sunday morning. The car is still up on the lift in the midst of a brake job, so uh, despite the warmer weather, I'm definitely a few weekends away from the first official drive of 2017. And if you want to see the backstory on that, make sure to check out episode 25. I'm going to link it in the card above. So today is pretty rad anyway. I don't have my glasses. So today's gonna be pretty rad anyway because I'm opening up some boxes that came from my 1997 Porsche Carrera 4S. Hey, First one's from Europe, which is uh, super sweet. I'm really excited to open this up. And then the other just came the other week from, can you guys read this uh, hashtag right here, Rudified, from Mr. 993 himself, Rudy from Texas, with arguably one of the coolest 993 collections in the world that I know of. So super stoked to open this up and uh, let's do it. All right guys, so first up, Rudy's box. Check this out, a uh, Tech Whitman carbon fiber gauge pod. Super stoked about this, amazing. Thank you Rudy, you're the man. This thing has been uh, packed impeccably as usual. Uh, it's like it could have been gone to space, but uh, I made it obviously safely to Canada. Thank you so much for doing such an amazing job wrapping this. So how sick is this? Rudy, thank you so much, man. This is uh, absolutely awesome. I see now what you mean about the glue situation. I can't wait to install it, dude. Thank you. Guys, so let's move on to uh, this box that came from a place called Carnival in Belgium. It's, uh, it's a cool little place that sells random Porsche parts. Um, all the like cool parts you want for your sports shop. Um, so pretty rad. Can't wait to uh, check this out. All right guys, so here we go. First off. I know what this is. This is a special little piece. I'll talk about that in a second. There's also my uh, change pod that replaces the cassette holder on the center console. Super sick. Euro Porsche Classic license plate frames. It's pretty sick. Super stuff for the garage, I guess. And then these two awesome things, which I'm super excited about. One, two. Euro horns to replace my USDM horn sound, which sounds like a Kia. So super stoked. And that's it. Do you guys want to go install these right now? Do you have time? So the car has its wheels off and everything pretty much exposed, so it shouldn't take too long. So I'm going to be removing this plastic shrouding here just so I can get to the horn components. <laughs> Alright guys, so the plastic shrouding's off and I'm basically going to be replacing these two original horns with the new Euro trumpet horns. And uh, actually, oh man, it looks like I've already run into a problem. So basically, the way these are connected with these regular like Porsche clip-in connectors, I noticed that on the Euro horns it requires like a spade connection, which is kind of old school. 
but it looks like I'm going to need to rewire, splice wires in, in order to connect those up. Oh well, this is where I guess I'm going to have to uh, pack it in. That's bullshit. Damn, I thought this was going to be plug and play. Just goes to show what I was saying before, preparations, everything. Make sure to research everything, have everything on hand before you get started. So you run into a snag like this, and what a bullshit thing to, to uh, get held up on. So tomorrow I'm gonna have to hit up a hardware store and get some wire, some connectors, and get it, I guess, like put together some some wiring for this, just so that I can uh, splice into the to the wiring harness, something I completely didn't anticipate, so that kind of sucks, and um, oh man. I guess on that note, remember to subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bomber. Oh well.